Hey guys, Luna here. Welcome to another episode of That Crypto Hustle. Today I want to talk about the 101 to finding airdrops. So I invited Kurt Braggett from White Rabbit. Hey Kurt, how's it going? Hey, how's it going guys? Thanks for having me. Love to have you on the show. You're like my knowledge bomb. <laughs> yeah. Ask away. I'm always happy to answer questions and test my own knowledge. Yay. It's like almost crypto trivia, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like Quizzy. They have this thing called Quizzy in Portland where like people get together in bars and then people ask quiz questions and everybody kind of like communes on their answers. It's pretty awesome. Ah, we should do that one day on the show. It'd be fun. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So want to talk to you about, okay, well, before we even get started, so for some of the people who don't know this, what are airdrops? What's a quick and easy way to explain what airdrops are? Okay, so airdrops are when companies that have tokens give them away for free to their users. And these often have some kind of monetary value, generally dollars, you know, some of them have actually been pretty heavy amounts, like thousands of US dollars in worth. Um, but it's essentially, they give away the tokens to their users in exchange for maybe a sign up or something like that. It's kind of a marketing tool for the ICO, but it's a great way for users to gain tokens and learn more about projects. So it's also a good investment solution if you're looking to, I mean, and obviously could also have a lot of risk involved. So mm -hmm. what's the best way to find these airdrops, if you will? Like what would be like the first step if you're a newbie looking into the market, wanting to learn about these airdrops? Yeah, so if you if you don't really have a lot of context, I would suggest just periodically Googling like for airdrops and maybe try to decide, like for example, I'm really interested in EOS airdrops right now and EOS has a lot of airdrops and it's an exciting airdrop community. So I'll, I'll type in EOS airdrops. I also built a site that tracks every single EOS airdrop. It's called eosairdrops.co. You can see that. And there are a lot of sites that do this, eosairdrops.io. You know, you can find them on Reddit. There's a lot of a lot of uh, tokens are released on Reddit, and a lot of the airdrops are announced on Reddit. That's kind of like the announcement board. So if you want to find hot ones that maybe haven't made it onto the listing sites yet, but I also suggest having your own listing site that you like um, to kind of check in every once in a while. And uh, sometimes you actually automatically gain them too. So it's always good to have hold some token just so you can show up on the radar for airdrops. And so is there specific telegram groups where you could potentially find airdrops? Cause I mean, I, it just feels like finding airdrops is just really time consuming. So it is. I mean, so is there like a hack by any chance or a way to speed up the process? Well, I'm gonna say no. okay, so, like, <laughs> so, so, so actually there, there, there really is. Yeah. And, um, I, I will disclose and I, I don't like to just constantly be plugging my own products, but I run twinsy.io okay. and they collect airdrops for you. It's a VA, uh, service that works right through messenger. So you can send them a message and say, collect this airdrop for me or go and check if there are any airdrops and collect them for me or also bounties as well, which is kind of similar to airdrops. It's where you do like a little bit of work to gain the token. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, I would say, you know, hiring somebody like a VA to collect them for you. Um, I've done a lot of research on this actually. I've collected probably over hundreds of, of airdrops and bounties and they often don't really have a high return. So I guess that's a little warning for people that, you know, it's probably not going to be the most money making venture ever. But if you want to learn about tokens, you want to get involved and just kind of get excited. It's a really fun way. It's sort of like getting coupons to your favorite grocery store. It's like it's not going to make you rich or anything, but it's kind of great when you save some money and that's your spot, you know. So, so if you're into <laughs> couponing, airdrops yeah. are for you. And uh, I think that's a big point, actually, that, yeah. that air aren't gonna make you rich like don't think that but like I actually I will say this though 
that I have collected some airdrops that are over thousands of dollars just for one airdrop because of the appreciation. So, But I really like your tactics. I mean, essentially, because a lot of us don't think about the power of hiring VAs and essentially providing us a list of everything that's available. I mean, even just Telegram, personally, I'm overwhelmed. Yeah. And I hope Telegram comes up with a solution, a way to digest all these messages because I'm inundated <laughs> with messages on yeah. Telegram. So just that in <laughs> itself. Yeah, I think that airdrops are not a winning thing to do if you want to make money. I, I really believe that our time as hustlers in the crypto market should definitely not be spent on airdrops. They're not going to be very money-making ventures. It, to me, the game is all about collecting a lot of them at a very low cost without disrupting my own time. That's the game I've been playing for like two years or more, um, maybe three, I don't know. Um, and I just have other people collect them for me because I'm out there hustling and um, I just don't want to disrupt my time as well, you know, and you can find people to do it and it's pretty affordable actually. So so when you find airdrops, like how does that usually the process work? Like what's, uh, let's say that you found a good deal, a project you're interested in, how does that usually work? You just have to sign yeah. up or? Yeah, so there's, there's different ways, but the general process is that you have to have a wallet in order to receive the tokens, okay? So for example, in EOS, most of the tokens are launched on the EOS blockchain. So if you have an EOS compatible wallet, any token that's built on EOS, and, and this is true for Ethereum too, like there's thousands of tokens that are launched on Ethereum. If you have an Ethereum compatible wallet like Mew, my Ether wallet, um, any airdrop that goes through um, Ethereum, you could collect in your my Ether wallet, for example, because my Ether wallet is compatible with Ethereum and those tokens are launched on Ethereum. They're compatible, right? Um, and then for EOS, you would have to, in a similar way to Ethereum, you have an EOS wallet. And then those, and, and when you have an EOS wallet, you have one EOS address. It's a public address, kind of like an email can receive emails from all kinds of different email addresses. You can think of your EOS wallet as an address where different tokens can send you stuff. And so you might not see them because the wallet may not support some obscure token, but eventually it'll come on the radar. And um, so if you collect them in your wallet and you're confused because you might not see them, you can go to a block explorer uh, for EOS and then just paste your public address in. And generally that explorer can look through that address and see what tokens you have there. And you probably should set up a, a separate wallet for all your airdrops. No? I think it's a good idea. But here's one of the things that also is worth mentioning is that often airdrops are done on a ratio. So let's just imagine I built my Acme token and it's on EOS. And then I want to distribute that token out to all of my users or my potential users. My goal is to bring people onto my network. But so there's two different ways you can do it. You can say, hey, guys, if you want to collect the airdrop, sign up for my mailing list. It's a really great exchange. They sign up your mailing list, then you send them some tokens, right? So that's one way to do it. But then they have a ratio-based airdrop where I programmatically send my tokens out to anybody that holds EOS at a specific ratio. And so the reason why this is important is sometimes you won't collect airdrops unless you have a certain amount of coin inside of your wallet already. Because just think about it from my Point of view like I want to send my Acme tokens out to people who are using this shit otherwise it's like why do I want to send it to a dead wallet so often the tokens will say if you have a hundred EOS or a hundred dollars or whatever it is in EOS or more then you'll be eligible for the airdrop and then the airdrops work in a ratio so it could be my Acme token for every EOS token you hold which is I forget what the price is. I think it's what, $7 or something. For every token you hold, I will give you a thousand Acme tokens. And each airdrop does it at different ratios depending on the value of their tokens. But okay, all right, so this might be a dumb question. Sorry if that was too dense. <laughs> no, 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 but this might, because I guess like there's, yeah, my confusion is there probably is different types of airdrops. 
the ones where you're essentially getting free money, quote unquote, or where all you have to do is provide your wallet. And then there are the ones where you actually have to purchase their token now. Yeah. So how do you, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, how, how do you know the difference? I mean, usually it's probably specified, right? Like when they're yeah, doing. They, they'll send out some information and like, I guess you can think about it like an analogy, like what, and this kind of helps us to define what an airdrop is, is that airdrops generally they're like a parachute that holds a box of some kind of rations, right? So like you could think of airdrops like you're the military on the ground somewhere in a country and some airdrops just come in automatically and some you have to call in on a radio like, hey, we need some shit like send it over, <laughs> right? So you can kind of think of airdrops like that, like yeah. some of them are automatic and some of them you have to call them in. And so to call them in, you have to do some specific action. Um, so I think that that kind of, that, that's why they use this analogy because they're just dropping them into your wallet like that. So Nice. Cool. So just to recap quickly, yeah. best way to find airdrops again, and you mentioned a few sites, eosairdrop.co for eos airdrops. Yeah. Twi and twinsy.io. Twinsy can help you to collect them for sure. You pay a fee and then they just constantly collect them for you. Um, there's also Reddit is a great place where they announce. And you but know, which, you but which channels on Reddit? Haha. <laughs> so I think that they have I think they have an airdrops channel, but okay. but here's how they here's how they honestly do it is that each token will generally create their own subreddit. Uh -huh. And so, you know, you probably just need to search within Reddit for airdrops just to see recent ones because they can be across different subreddits. So And what about on Twitter? Anything on Twitter, is it viable or is it scammy? Well, I think that Twitter is actually a good source. We did an analysis one day about trying to figure out where the universe opens up and first reveals that there's either a token or an airdrop. And in our analysis, we found that Twitter does actually reveal like that's the first place sometimes these People things are mentioned. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. So then also having a Twitter channel uh, with a proper hashtag to to find those airdrops. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, looking for airdrops, yeah. yeah. Awesome. And, and, and I, would, I would end with this, is that I would start out, I would recommend to a beginner to start out with EOS airdrops because there's a lot of them coming out and EOS is going to grow really fast and all these really great airdrops are going to come out for now. Because of all the dApps that are coming out in the market. Because of all the dApps, yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Kurt. You're the best. Yep. You're very welcome. Where can we follow you on social media? Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Curtybot, and you can also go to whiterabbitics.com to check out ICOs and airdrops and stuff like that. And your YouTube channel, which you always forget as well. Yeah, yeah. White, uh, our YouTube channel is White Rabbit ICO Discovery. Awesome. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to Crypto Hustle and also check out our website for some cool merch. Bye, guys. All right.